So a little over 30 years ago, I was on the engineering team that designed and constructed this treatment facility. Unfortunately, due to deferred maintenance during this period, today we are spending more than $337 million to repair and upgrade this treatment facility. It will be a costly lesson for our county. So today's groundbreaking marks a turning point. We at the department know what's at stake. We are moving forward with urgency and care. This plant must come into compliance and the community deserves a wastewater system they can count on. We're gonna take some pictures. So I was born and raised in Kilkaha. Um, and then the sewer plant was located where the pack rock facility currently is. We would come home with our parents and depending on the smell, we could tell if it was a good day or a bad day for the sewer plant. Um, and then they built this back here, but still yet we can still pass and sometimes smell if it's a good day or a bad day. So hopefully with all the upgrades and, and the fixing and whatnot, the water that gets pumped out through the outfall improves and has less bacteria, even though they've come and told us, oh, you can drink this water. Um, I don't want to drink that water, but we still have spills, we still have malfunctions. The, the biggest gripe is the plant doesn't serve our Keokaha community. Most of our community is still on cesspool or um, septic tanks. We don't have lines and infrastructures put into under our roads for us to even hook up to the plant. But we still pay the price in the ocean of having the greater Hilo spill into our, our refrigerator that we go and fish in. Hopefully this will help mitigate some of the problems. It won't, it's not going to fix them all, but we'll, baby steps, we'll keep getting there.